tailgate season opener is tomorrow. And if you're planning to tailgate, we have great grinds for you. Dante Kamara, KCC's Culinary Arts Program Coordinator, joins us this morning with one delicious food and two really exciting courses to talk about. Very exciting. Okay, so first off, what do we have here? Well, I thought for the ultimate tailgate party, go local, right? So yes. I went to Foodland, which I love for all the local ingredients. And so I thought we'd do a, a Colby wrap Ooh. with all the, you know, natural ingredients. We've got some chive and romaine. Um, and then, of course, all of the um, Korean favorites just to kind of fill it all in. Wonderful. All right, yeah. all right well, let's get yeah. started. So I thought maybe I got the pan heating up. So hopefully we'll have a little sizzle. Yeah, there we go. We got some sizzle action going. Yum. And this is something that would be so perfect for game day. Day because right. especially with the wraps, then if you know you want to walk around talking with folks, it's grab and go, right? Make it easy. And you know, the whole thing that people forget is, you know, it's food safety. You want to make sure that you're not right. cross-contaminating things. You want to make sure that you're keeping things that are supposed to be cold, cold, and like raw products should be separate than cooked products. Right. You know, because sometimes I think that's what the thing is. You, you go out and you're drinking and you're playing all day and then you get you get sick and you think, God, what was it from the drinking? But maybe it could have been from the from food. From the food, especially yeah. with such warm, sunny days I with a lot of food exactly. just kind of laying out. And uh, wearing gloves. I mean, I love to yes. wear, you know, I always have an apple supply on me just because it is really easy. Just you can take them off and put a new pair on. But I thought we'd get kind of get this hot. I can already kind of it smells get that, so good. that stuff going. And then we're going to we're gonna assemble. Um, we've just got the whole wheat uh, tortilla that I can also, which is also really nice. You can even, if you have a grill, um, game day, you know, throw this right on the grill just to kind of warm it up a little bit. That's always key for me. If I'm making a burrito, it's going on the stove first. You have yeah. to, right? Because you want to get that nice and warm. So I figure we'll just yeah. kind of heat this up, just kind of get take the, um, the cool edge off of it a little Beautiful. bit. And while you're doing that, of course okay. we're talking tailgating. There's an exciting new course coming to KCC, right? Well, yes. Um, so I do a lot of human, you know, um, special things for um, adult learning. So a lot of it is like the, with our new uh, do-it-yourself program. So things like butchery, pickling, fermentation. Um, and in this case, we're actually going to launch a tailgate sort of course. So you That's can again so talk about food safety and make sure that um, you're winning up your neighbor. Right. That's what it's all about. Right? <laughs> and this is for con continuing education C as well, right? Edge, yes. Okay, so this is definitely something perfect, especially so many of us, of course, love going out to the games. We love to tailgate. Can you imagine just having the ultimate, like you're a tailgate food expert? That'd be legit. Right. You're, <laughs> you're going to be doing all this and people are going to be next to you like, what are they doing over there? So, right. And they're up. just going to have their bag of fried chicken and be so <laughs> jealous. <laughs> we got to one up. We got or one up our neighbors. You so always I have to. This is going to be the way to do it. And again, local, just kind of getting some of these great ingredients together. And then when you put it all together, you get that really great, um, amazing experience. So, nice. Yeah, so it looks like we've got a little bit of a nice temperature going here. Um, should we start? Yeah, and, let's do it. Okay. So I figure we've got our tortilla here. And. Um, Ooh, what is that? This is uh, Sanjam, which is sort of like a soy paste, and it's got a uh, scallion and. Um, yeah, it's, oh, it smells good. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Oh, so wow. we'll just kind of give that a nice... It smells shmia. like it's got some nice like flavors and spices in there, too. Exactly. Ooh. And then if you'd like, you want to just kind of do the honors and maybe oh, put, sure. some of the, put some of our kalbi on there. Look at that. I'm a big carnivore, so I'm going to okay, load her up. Load it up. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Look at that. She's huh? a beaut. you got to get the fatty piece in there. Right? Fattest That's flavor. On the end, too. That's <laughs> your first bite. Ooh. Okay, so we'll move this off to the side a little bit so we don't burn ourselves. Is that good or should I put more? Oh, that's more? good. Do you want to okay. put a few more slices? Why not? Hey, you're the, you're the expert. Party, um, I'm, I'm listening to you. There great. we go. Perfect. Now, I figure we could even put some um, bean sprouts here. We're going to put some bean sprouts on there. Yum. Great. And if you want to use the scissors, okay. the food scissors, we can just maybe... Um, Cut up some of the chive to go right on top. All right. Hold it. You have the gloves yeah, on. I don't want to make it. No problem. Look is that, that good? Is it yeah. you're supposed to do little ones? Oh, look at me, guys. I'm going to be real. I don't Ooh, think I've ever cut chives on anything. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. It's a party. It's, it's a chive party in the Take Two studio. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Nice. Sprinkle that, Sprinkle that okay. around. We'll do yeah, one more one cut more. just because it's right? fun. Okay. Okay, perfect. And then maybe, well, you know, got to have kimchi, right? Of course. So let's put a little bit of that. Ooh, and that's going to add some nice crunch to it as well. Crunch, Ooh a little heat. Okay, when you talk tailgate, I was thinking we were doing, like, you know, something greasy. But this is, like, 
kind of gourmet tailgate. This is think? something that's super perfect for game day, though, and something that's, you know, a little bit on the healthier side and definitely mm -hmm. one upping your neighbors. Yeah. And then is that good to go or what I else? I think it's good to go. Okay. And, we'll, and then, you know, you could put anything in it, really. Okay. And that's the whole great thing about Korean sauce. So you look like the, the burrito expert. Oh. Go for it. Yeah. Is that okay? All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Make sure you get a really this. nice tight fold so when you start to cut is it that up. that what I've done? That looks great. Look All right. That. Perfect. Look at this burrito. All right. We're Ooh. actually going to be cutting it up and I'm going to taste this coming up in the next segment. But you're sticking around, right? Around. Okay, Got perfect. It. So we're going to talk more about great tailgate food and then also your really great classes coming Thanks up so in the next segment. The UH season opener is tomorrow, so again, it is the perfect time to talk tailgating. We're rejoining Dante Kamara, KCC's Culinary Arts Program Coordinator. Hello. Hey, how are you, Kelly? So good now that we're going to be eating. I know, right? I mean, like staring at, you know, your creation. Yes. I mean, kind of made another one while we were on break just Let to kind of get things together. <laughs> and let's break this down because I'm looking at mine and... It's not as pretty as yours. My my end yeah. opened up a little. We ha we might have to perform surgery on that one. Looks like um, you know we'll break <laughs> it down. It should be all right. But also, can we talk about how fat mine is compared to yours? <laughs> it's because I like to eat I food. Like it, I like it. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, all right, what do we do now? How would you serve this? W would you just give the full uh, wrap, or do you cut it up? Well, I think we should slice it up because it's all about what's on the inside. So that when, especially right, when you have right. people come to visit, whether they're coming to your your stall or whatever, you know, some people might be vegetarian or have issues, right? right? right. So at least you know we'll kind of give it a, a nice little slice here. They want to know what they're getting into, and plus, exactly. Honestly, See? when you it comes to that. tail, ooh, that is a beaut. Yeah, you did a good job. Oh, it's great. a little loose. I see yeah. you having to hold it up there. That's Don't lie right. to me. You know <laughs> it's not perfect, but, <laughs> but look, look, look at this. Excellent. <gasps> Juicy, oh. spicy. What do you think? I think I'm hired, Chef. Yeah. Wait, can I take a bite you while you think, keep I talking? Think you should. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, I, I'll, you I'll keep just cutting those give up. It another, you know, I'll give it another little mm. slice up here. <laughs> oh, the kimchi adds a good crunch. I heard the crunch. Mm -hmm. It's like it's over the over the sizzling. It just you know hurts. Yeah, so just kind of. Oh. You could even maybe just right down the center. Okay. And then you can kind of you know. Hold it up there so you can kind of Ooh. see the loveliness on the inside and you get Beautiful. everything together. I mean, that looks really, really nice. Yeah. And if I had wrapped mine tighter, we could have done more slices, too. And that's great, too, because with tailgating, you want a little bit of everything, right? Right. And, you know, it's part of the fun. So, mm. you know, this is good conversation to just kind of right. engage. And, um, no, I, you know, I think that, there you go. You know, it's not bad. <laughs> not my wrap. Not this, obviously. This is delicious. <laughs> it's amazing the flavors that are coming with this. Cause right. The kalbi, and it's like what you want with tailgating. You want like that nice smoky barbecue yeah. flavor. I feel like we've been grilling there. all day. Right, and mm. I, I'm, I'm loving it. This this smells really great. So so good. And good at any time of the day. Could you mind putting an egg in there too? I was oh. thinking about that frying an egg and putting it on the inside. See now you're thinking because it's only not even nine, so now we're thinking breakfast time. Think For me though, wrap. this is perfection awesome. already. Awesome. Oh, so so good. Very How good. did you come up with this? Well, um, you know, it's funny. I have a lot of help, great support at the school. So I was talking to a couple of the chefs. I said, you know, the tailgating um, segment's coming up. What should I do? Um, so they thought, mm. well, you know, local first. So I went over to Foodland. And then I thought I wanted to make it where it'd be easy, something you could kind of roll up, not be too difficult in terms of transport, getting it to a right. site, for example, making right. sure that you have everything together. I mean, you could even do like a... Um, you know, like a poke wrap or something mm -hmm. of that sort. If you want to offer something on the colder side, might right. be nice. Right, so know. perfect. And something that Kelly could even do herself. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, so talk more awesome. because, again, you guys have these really great programs that are coming up. The yes. DIY program, talk about that. Well, uh, do it yourself. So a lot of it is that sort of personal enrichment. So, you know, I'm finding that a lot of people want to be able to learn a lot of stuff themselves and then do it at home, like how to break down a, a pig mm -hmm. or, um, you know, how to... Um, make sausage or make your own beer at home oh wow uh, or even pickling or mm -hmm. fermentation like making your own kimchi or things of that sort because i think people want to take what they experience in the grocery store and kind of do it themselves and put their own signature on it i love you know, that yeah so that's pretty cool so we thought why don't we kind of come up with a series and we're going to put it onto our website so that people can say well i may not be around for the butchery but i might be around for fermentation right. or, or um uh, beer making and and then you do it as a series so that you're you're continuing to kind of engage and then we always like to do a takeaway so you know with the uh the tuition you'll come in 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 our uh, really great facility state-of-the-art facility up at diamond head at the culinary institute of and the that's pacific new. it is um 
Um, we opened in 2017. Everybody thinks it's done, but we're going to be engaging on the second phase mm -hmm. um, next year. Um, but it's a beautiful facility and it's a great place to come in and have your own station, have your own work area, cool. and uh, learn learn things that are applicable that you can take home and, and, and teach your kids. Awesome. You know, yeah, so I'm well, really exciting excited things, about it. Yeah, you should be. Exciting yeah. things happening for KCC's yeah. Culinary Arts Program. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you it's so, so much. funny. Normally, I only take one bite, right? And that's it. I've been eating this wrap the whole time that you've been talking. This is bomb. All right, tailgating tomorrow. If you want to impress your friends, this is the way to go. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure.